Hey everyone, it's Jason. Uh, so we are going to unbox the Darksiders Forbidding Lang board game. Uh, this was exclusive to the Darksiders Nephilim Genesis Edition. Darksiders Genesis Nephilim Edition set. Um, you can see in the back, you can see Strife standing there with his awesome statue. Um, oh boy. Alright, let's see what we have here. We have a bunch of boards. Tip this down a bit. Less glares. So, we have all this hex terrain. So, I like some concrete, concrete with lava. There's some like spectre tokens. Oh, and stuff's already popping out. Uh, there's like a building tile. Those guys, I think, are the same on both sides. Sure are. Another uh, streak. Um, another specter. Let's see some wrist tide. More ground with some lava. Uh, it looks like this could be inside of a building. There's a little spectre. Uh, symbol on that one. I should know what that symbol is. It looks like maybe card council, but I could be wrong. Uh, here's some smaller terrain. Here's a pile of skulls, just some cracked ones. Um, I'm going to guess the borders mean different things. Uh, some blood tokens, threes and ones. Same on the back there. Yeah, it looks like indoor versus outdoor terrain. Wish I like some sort of grass or something. Um, an end token. So you got some ones here that are purple and some ones that are white. Um, not really sure what that means. Oh, but we have some twos and threes. And then we have these cool symbols. We have some other train there, but we have like a portal. Um, that's probably uh, War's portal gun, or it could, I think, I think if I'm right, I could be wrong. Uh, there's just like a locked door. There's a treasure chest with all the different skulls flying out. What's on this side? There is an open door. So there's nothing on the other side of that one token. There's just another treasure chest. It's not closed or anything. And the last token board, and we're popping stuff out. We got some more portals. We got a start spot. Skulls. Closed door. There's a Vulgrum. Um, makes me feel like he's not going to be a miniature then. Which I kind of wish he was. Uh, some Fury Shards. Uh, boy, my brain can't remember what all these different items are. Uh, so I have some different shrutings, I have some stripe tokens. Um, there's like a shotgun blade, I forgot what that one was. I don't remember all these. Which is sad, because I play these games so much. Okay, so these six here... All have, uh... Fate symbols on the back? And we just lost a bunch of tokens. That's alright. Uh, there's our tiles. Regular cardboard. Alright, what else do we got in the box? We have a campaign booklet. Uh, this is so you can play through the story. Uh, the scenarios in Dark Side of the Forbidden Land are chapters of a continuous campaign that you can play from start to finish. You can play through in any way it suits you, whether it be a single level, multiple levels in a scenario, or take a weekend to, a weekend to play through the whole campaign. Uh, each chapter scenario includes comprehensive intro and out outro, however you can also simply read the respective synopsis you will not miss out on any important details 
Once you set up a level, please read the objective. Okay, cool. Um, so some event cards, tokens, relics, campaign, uh, different setup for how many horsemen you have. Uh, prologue story. So here we got uh, prologue, tutorial, chapters 1 through 7, and then the epilogue. Interesting. Uh, they show you how to set up everything. I don't want to give spoilers away. You can find more fan submitted levels at ForbiddenLands.DarkSide. Well, that's cool. I mean, there's only, you know, so many copies out there. So I don't know how many people bought this and actually played it enough to make fan levels. But uh, we have some little colored cubes. Uh, clear blue, clear green, clear yellow. We have some dice. I'm going to open these dice. So we have our generic red dice, six-sided guys, D6s. And then we have these interesting other dice. So these cubes have a one, a one, a one, a two, a two on them. So they have ones and twos. And we have two of those that are the same. So there's one blank side. Three one sides and two two sides. So they probably do, do something. And then we have some X's and check marks. I'm guessing those are probably considered to be check marks and X's. So it's probably like a yes no thing. So that's that's cool. Um, I don't know what they do. Um, we have some decks of cards here. Tilt this down just a bit more. So we have Strife's decks. He has two different decks of cards. We have Death. We have Fury. And we have War. I like how it's uh, almost like the covers of the games. So it looks like War's up on his horse. Death was just a full picture. Fury's her full form. And then uh, Stripe is basically his picture there. Um, we have two other decks of cards. It said there's like 400 cards. So we have this one. It looks like a Vulgrim deck. Uh, there's some events on there. So it might be mixed cards. It looks like there's two different sets of cards in there. Some different colors. We'll crack those open later. And then we have these cards, which are event cards, it looks like. Um, okay. And then... Just to flip over, like, War, so he has some different ability cards. They have various costs. Um, not sure what all this stuff means. Uh, but I think... Uh, I think it's to give these guys different gameplays, if I'm correct. Um, we have a quick start guide. Choose, equip, deck, armor, track, board, start, first spawn, player phase. We have... Oh, just another quick start. Quick starting a new level. Uh, soak markers, hand, deck, inventory, tokens. Example of a board layout. Interesting. And then we have... Four sheets of uh, quick player quick phase rules. So, um, remove effects, draw cards, play cards, play cards in a player's cards in a player's hand may only be used for one of the following. I'm not going to read through all these right now. Uh, ending the player's phase. And on the back, we have the creature phase. Uh, calculate the power. Power level, so based on the number of hit points. Remove frenzy, event cards, moving, spawning, inflicting damage. Interesting. Um, I think there's a lot going on in this game. And until I've actually read over the book, I'm probably not going to try and sit there and it, it read it all over and try and explain it to you. 
Um, and since you're not going to be able to walk to the store and buy this game, I'm probably not going to spend time going through all the rules and then doing like a how to play video. Um, maybe if enough people in the comments request that. Uh, but otherwise, it doesn't make sense for me to do a how to play video on a game that lots of people don't own. Uh, so here's our rule book. Let me just show them what we got. Character boards, soul trackers, dice. Uh, spawn guide, bait guy, okay. Game cards, 80 cards for each rider. Creature cards, event, jailer boss, jailer phase, Boldrum, upgrade cards. Bunch of tokens, game tiles, all the figures. Oh cool, it's actually going to show me a color picture of all the characters. Um, neat. So, I don't want to go through them yet. I want to wait till we actually look at the uh, actual characters when we get there. But, we have some special hexes. Gold tile start, Volgrum, loot, obstacles, door, portal, our token. Okay, so it's a necromancy, a death glyph marker, relic, shadow clones. Okay, teleport, vulnerable, X markers. Oh, okay, so different attack points. There's a character. How the cards work. Movement, ability of cards, creature cards, event cards, equipment cards, game structure, game setup, summary. Win loss, and then okay, then they have this, which this is kind of neat. Looks like uh, pre built character decks. So, like, if we have war, um, a little description about them up there, um, starting gear, stuff like that. So, he has two different decks he's a warlord deck, and he has a defender deck. Um, so it did some different stuff. So it's like the Warlord set or the Abysmal Armor. So that's kind of neat. They could give you two different options that are already preset. And it sounds like preset means you can make your own. So we have Death here with Necromancer. So he has the Angel of Death deck. And the Crowfather. It looks like the second decks have more cards. So it's kind of like the type of equipment. We have Fury. She gets her Inferno and her Nemesis. And then we get New Gash, a new boy Strife. Um, who has a bunch of extra tokens. Storm and Shadow. And facts and stuff and note pages. Um, I do want to look at one other thing here. So, this is interesting. War is a horse, the horseman of the Red Steed. Um, Death is just the Pale Rider. Uh, Horsewoman of the Black Steed. And Horseman of the White Steed. So it's, I just thought that was kind of interesting. There's the Black one, the White one, the Red one, and then the Pale Horse Rider. Like, is that the same name? Um, so here's our boards. These are kind of neat. So we have, obviously, we have equipment here. So, like, shoulder armor, foot armor, uh, probably some sort of relic. His body armor. His, uh, gloves. So he must be able to do melee attacks. And his guns. And then, I don't know if there's anything on the other side. Nope. But the hit counters here are all the same. Um, but we get, for war, we get different pictures for his stuff. For his pauldrons, his boots, his, uh, Chaos Burner sword, his two fists, and his armor. Death. Pauldrons and boots. Uh, waist belt, I guess. It's, I thought it was, like, chest belt somewhere in there, armor. I guess he doesn't wear a shirt, so... His gloves and his scythe. Yeah, because hers is a full torso. Her uh, 
So maybe like first and secondary weapon, like fist and secondary. Her whip, her pauldrons, and her boots. And then she has a different token up here for some reason. So that's kind of odd. Um, yeah, the other three all have that one, and then she gets that one. So it's almost like they changed the design for her. Um, I don't know, or if it's something special. Alright, you guys go to the side. We got miniatures to look at. So, we have a tray of miniatures. We have a second tray of miniatures, and we have a big boss guy. Um, this is one of the, one of the biggest, one of the bigger selling points for me on this, uh, for the price especially, was that all of the miniatures are pre-painted. Um, I own so many miniature games right now, but nothing is pre-painted. So, we have, and now I'm going to grab the book so I can see what these guys are called. I don't remember what everyone in every game is called. These are Blood Claw Minions. I mean, look at the, it's just the detail is incredible. Look at that tail, them claws, that, them teeth. Little thing on his chin. These are the things of nightmares. And it's, it's not just, they're detailed and then they're painted. Um, what else do we got? We have the wraiths, uh, banshees. Like the double swords. Like the ground's all broken. Uh, it's a little like vestments there. Sorry, I don't have the best camera for seeing some of this detail, but oh my gosh, you can see a face in there. She's got like armor patterns. Her robes are tattered down here. Um, she's got patterns on her chest and everything. That is crazy. We have some good old zombies. Um, before I start showing too much more of this stuff, um, just remember this video is not safe for younger viewers with just some graphic -y images. These other guys are kind of scary, but like I just don't want anyone getting mad at me. Um, so we're going to show some zombies, the bloodthirsty zombies. So we got the male version. These spines, these are basically the humans that have died. Came back with his heads cut open. You know, like just the texture on the base is incredible. And then we have the female one. So she has everything hanging out because she doesn't wear a shirt. Um, and she's got like the come get me pose. Ah, come get me. Um, and her brain is exposed too. She's got some blue hair though. Good old old blue haired women so that's the first box so we got one two three four five six seven eight nine tail and twelve of the green guys we got uh six of the banshees and then we got eight Nine, ten of each of the zombies, male and female. So we got plenty of little minions to play with. This is a Phantom Lieutenant. He's got armor, he's big and bulky, he's got some little baby wings. Um, there's an arm, with it. look at that detail. He's got his giant axe hammer type thing. 
Um, I don't remember these guys. Um, I'm sure I fought them. I just don't remember them. We have a Goreclaw Elder. So this is the older, like more experienced version of the little green guys. You can see uh, he lost his tail. But he has definitely become more hideous, more mantis like he's even got a little face in there. So I only got one of those guys. So they must be some sort of special boss. Um, the other big guys I got, I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 of those guys. We got two of these swarms. So these are a rampaging swarm. So a little undead guys. Got some masks on. He's got some swords sticking out of his back. Not holster, just sticking out of his back. That guy's missing part of his face. That's cool. So I got two of those. Uh, we got some of these guys that are kind of gross. The gore busters, or the flush bursters, sorry. Uh, yeah, so these guys, I hate them. They're big, they're giant, they run towards you, and then they explode. Um, shooting damage and poison all over you. Um, so they suck. I got two of them. So hopefully I don't have to fight them too much. Uh, then we got some bossy characters. We got this dude. Got a big... Scythe hammer. Look at that armor. All red and black. Little bitty head up there. Uh, so this is a phantom general. Or phantom commander. The only thing that's going to make me kind of mad if this isn't hitting retail is... Uh, these are probably won't ever be an expansion. Um, we do have the horseman yet, but before we go to the horseman, we're gonna look at the last boss. So look, they gave him his own container. So freaking big. Um, this is the jailer, which I believe was from the first game. Uh, again, very gory, forewarning you. Oh my gosh, look at this dude. Um, just a set of teeth. Sticking out of a giant blobby mess. He's got a dead guy in his hand here. He's gonna throw around at you. He's got his belt. His thing. There is a person inside his jail. Uh, look at this arm. This is just full of skeletons and bodies. And it's all molded together. That is his other arm. He's got this hook sticking out. All these are pores and Pusses, that's gross. Um, I don't, I think his base is probably fine, but it seems sort of flimsy for how big he is. Um, but that's just me. Uh, yeah, so that's the jailer. Um, comparison for size. There's one of the zombies. So, yeah, he's big. So, like, this guy he has in his hand is actually not much smaller than one of the regular miniatures. Put him back. Maybe. Well, we'll figure that out later. Alright, now let's get to the horsemen's. Start with horsemen's. Horsemen's. Horseman's number one. We have War. The OG Darksider. You guys, Chaos Eater. Uh, I love how he holds it backwards like that. Uh, 
boots, he's got his giant gauntlet. See his face in there, he's got his hair sticking out. He is ready to stomp some evil or humans or whoever gets in his way. Up next, we have the second, the Pale Rider Death himself. Um, he has his blades crossed behind his back, that's how he held them. Detail on them boots and on them straps. Crazy. The third one, we have Fury, the female, the sister. Whipping around that spiky ass whip. Um, she's got like her tassels flowing. Her hair, she's kind of stepped up. She's actually a little bit more of an action pose than the other two. Um, that's crazy. Crazy, crazy paint jobs. And then we have the newest one. We have Strife, the gunner, who appeared in... Uh, his guns have appeared in a couple of the games. He has made an appearance in one of the games. I'm not going to tell you where or when, because I don't want to spoil it if you haven't haven't seen it. Uh, but yeah, look at that. He's got his double guns. It's kind of like cyber negative I interesting. I'd still love to play as him, uh, fully on in the game. Uh, so that is our Dark Siders. Uh, Forbidden Lands uh, video. I will do a part two where I'll go through all the cards. Um, you check that out. I just wanted to do a quick part one. We're just doing the regular unboxing. Um, actually, I probably won't do a part two. I'm just going to add it on to this video. Um, but there will be a little bit of a gap. Because I'm probably going to unwrap them all before I do it. Alright, so be back in a sec. Okay, so that took a minute. Uh, nobody wanted to watch me sit here and unwrap cards. Uh, so we're going to go through the decks. We have War. Um, I don't know what any of this stuff means. So we're just going to kind of look over them. I'm not going to even sit here and reread them all. Uh, like every single text because I don't know what they all mean. But we have... We'll get the feel of what each character you know did in the game. So we have Shadow Flight. Uh, he's got his Chaos Farm. So it costs, so show him what it costs. Uh, then it says what, just a little symbol for the ability and then like what it does. Uh, Stone Skin. You spend additional to gain an additional blank per spend. Okay. I think this meter up here is their movement ability. So uh, this is immolation. Does some uh, range attack. Okay, so he's got uh, a melee weapon. So these are all abilities. And he's got his melee weapon, the Chaos Eater. Battle Start Armor. Uh, the ability has Ruin. Okay, see so this has three. This only has two. So that's the difference there. Uh, strength Talisman. This is a Talisman. So that's that, probably that one symbol on the top card. Uh, Lucky Break. Uh, he's Warlord Armor. Torso Armor. So, where was the other one? Okay, it was Torso and Melee Weapon. Alright. Chronosphere. Blade Geyser. Oh, yeah, it sticks his feet in the ground. Blade shoot up. Ah, I'm trying to remember what all these abilities look like. Um, he used to cards with, like pictures on him. Uh, Advanced Blade Geyser. Affliction. Rage. The Abysmal Gauntlet. Whereas all four Abysmal Armor pieces equipped to receives extra stuff. Ooh, neat. So he's got his... Um, okay, because here he's got his Abysmal Gauntlet. 
So it's a gauntlet. He gets his torso armor, his spalders, and the abysmal boots. Uh, wrathful assault, wrathful assault, wrathful assault, wrathful assault. Uh, his warlord spalder so has some shoulder armor. Uh, ability to counter attack, which makes sense for him, and a charge. All right, so this kind of some of his abilities. Um, let's see what his second deck has. By the way, look at the. I don't know if the video shows this, but look at the finish on these cards. You know, there's a winning finish. Um, if there wasn't 400 cards, plus cards, I would say this would be the first set I would buy really good sleeves for. Since it's a big collector's edition, but I'll probably just put them in regular sleeves. Um, so this deck has Shub. And I don't know if these decks are supposed to be like, this is his preset 1, preset 2, or if this is just how they got shoved together. Um, and there's nothing on here that indicates what they are. I'm going to guess that this symbol here is their cost for putting them, because it said in the pre-built they had 220 points for a cost. Uh, so here, Old Thing's Boon. We remember good old Old Thing. Uh, the Abysmal Axe, different weapon. The Abysmal Chain, Gauntlet. Uh, Range Weapon, it's a Crossblade. Uh, range weapon, he has Mercy, which is one of the guns. Then he has these cards. Okay, so this is probably not, um, deck one, deck two, unless, I don't know, maybe it is. So he just has a card to sharpen the blade and keep an eye on him. He just has some, like, generic nothing cards. Maybe it's to just act like, I don't know, maybe sometimes they don't do stuff. Warlord Boots. Just a general attack, a general attack. Yeah, so these are probably just, probably have to mix these together. Um, dodge. We love a good dodge. Block, of course. Uh, ooh, he's got a healing potion. Healing potion. Healing potion, battle scar, skull, scarred pauldrons, battle scarred boots to go with his armor. Uh, Wrathful Ecstasy, and his Warlord Gauntlets. So it's like we have a Warlord set, a Battlescard set, and the Abysmal set. I'm just going to mix all those together. We got Death here. Kind of wish there's a full picture of Death just to go with the other ones, but oh well. He's got a Necromancy. Um, so he can take control of mobs. Teleport slash. Uh, a set. I hate that word. I'm not going to try and say it. Uh, oh, he's also got an all things boon. I wonder if it's the same as the other ones. Chaos Fane. Uh, his Crow Gauntlet. Executioner's Hook. He had a lot more weapons. I wonder if he'll get uh, more weapons in this. Probably not. They'll probably keep it even. Uh, Redemption. So that's the other gun. Mercy and Redemption. Straighten the mast and smirk at your opponent. So here's his weird nothing card. His attack, his dodge, blocks, healing potions, uh, Reaper Spalders, Reaper's Boots, Destruction Ability. Destruction and Angel of Death Gauntlet. Uh, Hairbringer, Harbringer of Death ability. Reaper form, which is ultimate form. Murder of Crows. Summons a murder of crows to attack a single enemy. Uh, Death's Blessing. Harvest, melee weapon, reaper armor. Kind of funny, though, like, the, I'm guessing this is like their sturdy one. It shows a picture of them. Uh, despair, Hearthstone Gauntlet. Uh, he's also got a lucky break. Angel of Death Armor, Crown of the Dead, 
talisman. Uh, harvest. Uh, must have harvester equip as your primary weapon. Makes sense. Red harvest. Reaper storm. Angel of death scythe. Mortis gauntlet. Crow armor. Crow spulgers. Crow boots. Uh, he's blade walker. Angel of death spulgers. Bloody ecstasy. And some more necromancies. Alright, what does Fury have? Whip Swing. Score must be equipped. Whip Lash. Whip Lash. Whip Lash. Whip Lash. Smash. Violent. Uh, all Things Boon. Okay, yeah, it looks like to be the same for all of them. Uh, the Lance of Scorn. Flame Dance, Flame Dance, Salvation, Wrath Focus, Breathe Deeply and Give Your Enemy a Smile. So we got her second one, we got the Attacks, the Blocks, and then we have a bunch of Healing Potions. She might not have as many as the other guys. Uh, Ember Spulgers, Ember Boots, and the Magma Gauntlet. And... Jump. This card is used for movement. Fury may jump over allies, enemies, obstacles, and gaps. Must still like her move. So it's kind of neat. She has a different attack. She just have her jump. More jumping. Great leap. Lava form. Nemesis. An ability. Scorn. Her whip. Ember armor. Rampage. Sprinter Talisman, Lucky Break, Magma Armor, Claw Attack, Inferno, a Lava Beetle, Giant Lava Beetle, Flame Gauntlet, Flame Armor, Flame Spulgers, Okay, so the name has to get the has to get the symbol, not with the name of the armor. These are all Nemesis set pieces, even they're flames. Uh, outburst. Okay, that's what these symbols on the top mean. That's the different decks that they can go to. Um, outburst. Outburst. I was wondering what those symbols meant. Magma Spalder. So this is the Inferno set. So if I'm playing with this set, I can only use the Magma, the Inferno set. And then, like, looking on the top of the other cards, it can be used for both, it can be only used. So, this jump can be used for both, this jump can be used for both, but if I want a third jump, I have to be playing with the Inferno set. This jump doesn't require either, so I don't know why that is, because it's the exact same abilities. Um, great Leap, Great Leap. This Great Leap doesn't cost anything. Lava form, Lava form, Nemesis. Again, this Nemesis can only be used with that one. Um, I'm not really sure. I have to look it up. I thought I had it figured out. I apparently didn't. Um, let's see what Strife can do. So I haven't ever played Strife yet. I haven't played the game. So he's got Lava Shot. Nature Shot. Gravity shot, bunch of different bullets, all things boon, called shot, ghost hook, interesting, quick draw, uh, his short sword, uh, grin evilly and unsettle your opponent, uh, ooh, we have shadow boots. Bunch of attacks, a bunch of dodges, healing potion, healing potion, healing potion, stealth spalgers, stealth boots, stealth armor, shadow holster, and shadow talisman. 
Did I miss one for hers? Cause she also had magma boots. Weird, I think I got a different uh, version in there. Cause it says cost, it said like the hazel. Um, I got a different language version in there. Weird. Um, so Stripe's other abilities are Shadow Clones, which you saw tokens for. World Anger, Anger Beam. So is that his uh, ultimate attack instead of a... Uh, nope, he has a Shadow Form. I was wondering if he had a Form. Void Bombs. Mercy and Redemption. So he gets his two guns, of course. Ranged weapons. Chaos. Ooh, a Spectral Speed Chaos. Um, the other ones have theirs. Murder Talisman. Lucky Break, Lucky Break, Lucky Break. Shadow Armor. Dual Wield. Dual Wield, Dual Wield, Dual Wield, Dual Wield. Wild Shootout. Synergy. Synergy. Death Glyph. Death Glyph. Tempest Talisman, part of the Tempest set, Tempest Cloak, Tempest Spulgers, Tempest Boots, Focus, 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 Shadow Spulgers, and Lava Shot. Alright, let's look at, so this set of the deck had some blue cards for Vulgrim, Reg, some character cards, oh, some more character cards. Some other character cards and some more events. I'm gonna put the events with the other events. Let's look at some of these monster cards. So we have Bloodthirsty Zombies. So we have health, attack, speed, get reward for taking them out. It's a mob. If we flip them over, uh, it's just like hard upgraded. Okay. Uh, so that goes two health, two attack, no weakness. So he gains one more attack and he doesn't lose that speed. Um, we have a Banshee. They all say upgraded on them. I'm not sure. Um, so the Banshee there, and then you flip it over and has a better version. It's on fire. Back to Lieutenant. And we'll set him on fire, gain some bonuses. And Blood Claw. And he gains some. So that's those. Oh, we got some more here. There are. So we got more zombies, wraiths, phantom guards, minions, and the other versions. So we have two of each. What are all these red cards that are also enemies? So. Looks like they just don't have alternate forms. Um, Rampaging Swarm. They also have this here. Eight. Uh, boss Mob. Ravenous is also a Boss Mob. Um, that might be health maybe. Maybe the other guys... No, it's health here. I don't know what that is. I think it might be. Like, maybe it's Absorb Damage, like Defense. When defeated, Ravenous explodes... Dealing damage to all adjacent riders. Yeah, because I hate that guy. Uh, the Phantom General. The Elder Claw. So he's, just, he's a mini boss. The boss, the Unchained Jailer. This boss is stationary. When all blue are destroyed, the Jailer is stunned. Jailer can lose HP when stunned, and each red. Can only be removed by dealing three or more damage in a single attack. When the jailer loses a red one or the phase ends, it recovers from the be being stunned. The jailer generates all blue and it recovers from being stunned. So if you have four riders, you have to get rid of 16 of those and then do 12 damage. Interesting. Uh, zombie Swarm. Okay, so these guys have different names. 
rampaging swarm. This one's a zombie swarm. And then we had the ravenous and the flesh burster. A little bit weaker. Is that the difference? Well, yeah, different stats, but they also have that different colored thing. So we have a Phantom Commander and a Phantom General. So this one says upgraded. Okay, so these other guys say upgraded. So the ones are upgraded versions. And then Gore Claw and Gore Claw Elder. These are the same miniature, just better. So we have regular Jailer and Unchained Jailer. Okay, so then you can see the different stats there. Okay, that's cool. You get multiple ways to take out these guys. These guys both have So it's like the regular guys here have regular versions and fire versions and then they have the fire and regular but the upgraded versions. So they get two sides for some reason. Uh, the other guys only get one side. Not sure why. Oh, a stacked strife stack on top of Fury's deck. She would not like that. Um, let's see what Vulgrim has. Character upgrade. So for him, War's Glory. For War. Uh, battle training. That's kind of neat. You also require that. So it kind of shows with like the campaign abilities. Uh, Blade Master. Demolisher, Hellfire, Bloodthirsty. So we got what? One, two, three, four, five, six for him. Uh, Death gets Death's Blessing, and then Mystic Shield, Destroyer, and Wild Hunt, Reaper, and Hangman. Fury is going to get Fury's Embrace and Vendetta. Release the Swarm, Flaming Bug Juice, Curse, and Burn. And Strife will get Strife's Gift, Sharpshooter, Eagle Eye, Trick Shot, Overload, Single Mindedness, and Summoning. So Upgrade, 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 Weapon Upgrade, and Evocation. I think it's going to be the same for all of them, right? Weapon upgrade, weapon... Okay, no, it's not. Well, maybe. Nope. So that's interesting. Um, Strife has a weapon upgrade, character upgrades, two weapon upgrades, and evocation. War has... Uh, four weapon upgrades or character upgrades and two weapon upgrades one two three four five one two three four five six oh never mind so it's four character and two weapon four character two weapon and then this is just a regular card. Um, it doesn't have anyone attached to it. I got a little hasty there. And then we have the event cards. Uh, the hunt is begin. Has begun. Spawn minion spawn from the portals. Hunt, hunt, hunt. Probably a lot of the same ones. Release the hounds. To try showing how many dice you roll. Uh, do you smell something burned? Burnt. Do you smell something burnt? At the command of the general, so it's telling who it's spawning. For the glory of the Legion. And another thing. 
In the top picture is kind of showing which card it is. There's some Deadly Beetles, there's a Wraith, Deadly Beauty, sorry. Uh, Femme Fatales. Let me get Zombie Guy, Rise of the Beginning. The ground begins to shift. Death is in the eye of the beholder. It's showing their spawn points here. They're coming from graves. Wailing in the distance. Uh, higher level guys. Uh, something is stirring. Zombies need to move extra. You hear ominous moaning. Wailing in the distance. A lot of the same stuff. Something is stirring. Uh, here we go. New one. Now they're angry. All zombies become frenzied until the next creature phase. Uh, we have a boss fight. All boss mobs and mini bosses move an additional round. End game. All boss. All mobs become frenzied. Um, swift assault, all phantom guards move one additional space. All race become fren frenzied. Uh, the jailer, reign of zombies, smash, there is swing, there is swing, release the inmates and jailbreak. Um, so one other thing I was just noticing on here, yellow bar, flames on there. So this one just has the yellow bar, so I don't know if it means something special. So it's like the blue cards don't have yellow bars. But the orange ones do. Yep, no blue, no blue, no blue, yellow. And then the ones that have the fire are the frenzy ones. So that's kind of neat. Just quick visual indicator. Um, Couple more minutes left in this video. I just want to... so deck icons, movement value of two, cost to purchase equipment, uh, customized deck value. Catch okay, that thought. Number of combat dice. How they roll. Card effects. So here we go. Rider icon choose which rider they may use. Custom value necessary to choose your own. Build your own deck. Uh, card type can be ability, equipment. Equipment includes weapons, melee, arranged, armor, torso, shoulders, spaldings, boots, gauntlets, and talismans. Uh, movement cards in a player's hand may, might, may be discarded to move your rider on the board. This bar indicates the maximum possible movement. Okay, so you pay the cards to do stuff. Deck icon, which is recommended deck this card belongs in. Cards in both icons are used in both decks. Cards with no icons have been included for the custom. Okay, so that's how you can build your deck quick. Basically, if I want to build, like, the one deck, I just pull all the cards with that symbol off. If I want to build the other one, I do that. And then the ones I felt are so I can do whatever I want. Gotcha. To move a rider, a player must discard a card. How far the rider depends on the discarded card's movement. It can be one, two, or three. So basically, you trash the card to gain the movement ability. Okay. So, same thing there. So cost, death receives two initial combat dice to help him beat his foe. He also receives two soak markers which help him avoid damage and then he gains the ability. Destroyed, prerequisite, creature types, not really as concerned about them, event types, that's how you play the cards, 
So were these right in the beginning here that I missed this stuff? Additional rules, we have necromancy for death, we have striped shadow clones, we have um, relics, X markers, uh, vulnerable, Mulcrum and his upgrades. Don't have the other one. Alright, uh, so that is Darksiders for Big Land. You've seen all the cards. Uh, you've seen all the figures and everything. Uh, hope you guys enjoy it. See you guys later. Bye.